The suite had nothing but great things to say about her. You know, the, the friends and family, she looked amazing. Everybody was talking about her in, a, in great light. And on top of that, uh, you know, the the day went perfect for Chiefs fans, of course. <laughs> <laughs> we script it all, ladies and gentlemen. It was, it was just impressive. On the TV show, some questions were asked about their relationship, and they gave quite confident replies to the question such a big deal to just confirm it. That would I just uh, announce it? Yeah, just announce it. When it's time, we'll do it. You guys have been very low key with this rumor for quite a while now, but come on. It became pretty obvious that there is romance between the two of you after seeing you Taylor at Travis NFL match yesterday. Take a look at this. So you were just there chilling for no reason? I think we've just stopped pretending it's accidental at this point. So Travis Kelsey has signed off on his and Taylor Swift's relationship nickname, literally. The Kansas City Chiefs tight end signed a jersey with his number, 87, printed on the back with the name Swells at the top. The mashup is one of Kelsey and Swift's ship names in addition to trailer. The red and white custom Chiefs jersey was auctioned off on Chiefs bid an NFL-ran auction website where fans can bid on gear signed in slash or worn by players. One lucky fan dished over $500 for the custom jersey. Kelsey and the blank space singer's relationship has taken Swifties and the NFL by storm since they first confirmed their romance three months ago. In one of the podcasts, Kelsey told how it all started. There are friendship bracelets, and I received a bunch of them being there, but I wanted to give Taylor Swift one with my number on it. Not right now. Ooh. Well, I was disappointed that uh, she doesn't talk before or after her shows because oh. she has to save her voice for the 44 songs that she sings. So I was a little... Swift made her first appearance in the stands at Arrowhead Stadium in Kansas City alongside Kelsey's mother, Donna Kelsey. He likes attention, so he does. he'll be fine. As long as he can handle it, I, I don't have any problems with it. She's a very, very nice person. This game two weekends ago. Was that the first time you'd met uh, Taylor? Uh, yeah, it's, you know, it's fairly new, so I, I don't like to talk about it. It's just another thing that's amped up my life. So you got to know her a little bit, got to sit with a couple games. How was it? Is okay. I'm positive. All I can tell you is that the NFL is laughing all the way to the bank. So good for them. They've told me personally that um, the Kelsey family has done more good PR for um, football um, than they could have paid a million dollars to a PR firm. While fans wondered at the time if this was Swift and the NFL star's first date, the love song stress revealed in her interview with Time magazine last month that the two had been quietly seeing each other for quite some time. Swift, 34, told the outlet that she and Travis, also 34, started hanging out right after the athlete called her out on his New Heights podcast in July. At the time, he was telling the story of how he attempted and failed to pass his number along to Swift through a friendship bracelet while watching one of her Missouri concerts. So we actually had a significant amount of time that no one knew, which I'm grateful for because we got to get to know each other, Swift shared. Travis has also gushed over the Lavender Hayes song stress a handful of times. Obviously, I've never dated anyone with that kind of aura about them. I've never dealt with it, Kelsey said in an interview with WSJ magazine last month. But at the same time, I'm not running away from any of it. Wanted to keep this thing a little bit less uh, public. What, uh, do you have anything you want to say? Well, one, I know, I know I brought all this attention to me, right? I'm the one that was, I did the whole friendship bracelet thing and, you know, told everybody how butthurt I was that I didn't get to meet Taylor. You gotta shoot your shot. Yeah, you know what I mean? You miss 100% and you don't take, <laughs> baby. Um, so yeah. I think it's, uh, what's real is that, um, you know, it is my personal life. The scrutiny she gets, how much she has a magnifying glass on her, every single day. Paparazzi outside her house, outside every restaurant she goes to, after every flight she gets off, and she's just living, enjoying life. As the holiday season is among us, Page Six confirmed that Swift will be a Travis Christmas Day football game against the Las Vegas Raiders at Arrowhead Stadium and the athletes' New Year's Day game as well. She'll for sure be at the games, an insider told us. If you enjoyed from this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel. Thanks for watching.